Yes, indeed. Tuesday, it's upon us. I'm back to work, folks. Oh, no, disaster. Yes, indeed. But, however, you know, these things have to be done. So, back on the grind we go. Yes, so we're off to work now. Thank you very much for watching all my videos over the last week, folks. I hope you all enjoyed them. The um, the pinnacle of last week definitely was going to Penn, and I've been meaning to do that for ages. Um, and I was oh, so, so happy to be there. It was great. Loved it. And the stone circles, of course, they were fantastic as well. However, we're back to normal now. Yes, back to the routine. Off to work it is. So, here we go. Yep, so this morning's breakfast, folks, a little bit different today. We have a Mars bar and we have a Costa cappuccino from the Sainsbury's garage. Yeah, they've started doing Costa um, Express. Excellent. Right, folks, remember a couple of weeks ago I put a cop down here. I've forgotten all about it, actually. And we're going to see what has moved in to the cup. Crikey. What do we have? We have a dead bumblebee and a couple of flies and just lots of water, really. So let's pour it out and see what we've got, shall we? Right, so this is what we've got. Mm. It's a dead bee with really interest. It's kind of some kind of slug thing, what's that? Ooh. And what that is? Oh man! Goodness. Oh, there's another couple of slimy things in here. What are these? Oh, there's another one folks, look. What are these slimy things? Ooh. One. Look. So folks, look at that. We have three of these kind of slimy, they're like little eels or fish or worms or something. Goodness knows what they are. Maybe something's laid an egg in there. But yeah, look at that. Whoa. <laughs> awesome. Right folks, much excitement here in the world of Jaglivs and Spiz. Well, I've entered me and Bro, Bro and I, into a ballot to cross the new Queen's Ferry crossing when it opens. I had to go through a bit of a process on the phone there because you have to enter a ballot. There's only 50,000 places available and it's going to be on September the 2nd or the 3rd, I can't remember, it's a Sunday. So hopefully Spiz will be one of the lucky picks, lucky, lucky picks from the ballot. We're in it folks, good luck to us. Right folks, welcome to the late segment here of Jag Lives, where we're going to be talking about cubes, 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 cubes. <clears throat> this one I got just the other day. You might have seen it on Instagram. This little, it's a fidget kind of cube thing, but not a fidget cube like the fidget cube. It's more like, a, you know, this is the fidget cube here, this thing here. This is more like a, uh, a fidget block that uh, sort of goes like this. It's all hinged together, but it never comes apart. It's a fantastic fiddly twitchability fidget. I don't know what they would call it. I can't remember actually what it was called, but there you go. Fantastic. And this other one as well, folks. This is a, a spinner, but it's in the shape of a cube. Look at this. Fantastic. Now this has really got my attention over the last few days. I must say, folks, I, I find myself playing with this quite a lot while I'm sitting there watching YouTube or whatever. It's a fantastic, uh, I don't know, concept, I suppose, is the word, because it's, um, it's rather unusual. But the way it's been designed... Now, once again, this is the cheap Chinese version. The guy who invented this made it out of steel, and he had a Kickstarter going on but once again 
the Chinese got in there and they've just made it really very cheaply and this is just just like plastic really and I think it was only something like 2 dollars um, the real steel version was something horrific like £45 so I did quite well out of that one but this is this is amazing this is really good for fidgeting with just this bit here is just oh man it's awesome um, so there you go a couple of fidget cubes and also one last spinner another spinner has arrived folks this is a strange shape what's that an oblong i suppose you call it an oval an oval and it's got a sort of titanium or titanium yes glint to it sorry about the darkness folks we're just in darkness here tonight so there we are another another spinner it's got these kind of sort of like fan tails on it almost you know like ridges but again it's a it's a quite a heavy one but it's uh it's really good for spinning nice shape so that's my my latest fidget oh, arm sore from holding things up there we go folks awesome thank you all right folks welcome to a rather late evening edition of jag lives we're going to talk yes we are we're going to tell 